I'm Mr. Cinnamon, and we're gonna draw some boxing poses. Okay, so this is going to be the first in a series of fight pose draw alongs. This one, of course, is boxing. So I'm going to show you a variety of poses, uh, blocking both offense and defense, blocking and punching. And you'll notice that the uh, poses are not as dynamic as you expect boxing to be. These were drawn from real photos and they were converted into this simplified character. So you can use uh, this person or this model however you like, you know, so you can draw your own characters in its place. So this first pose is kind of like a get ready for fighting pose. You have um, both fists, you know, in a you know ready position. And then one leg forward and one leg uh, a little bit further back. A serious expression. This so next pose is a left jab. And it's going to be, again, just not as dynamic as you expect. I mean, we always, you know, when I think of boxing, I think of like Street Fighter, or I think of Rocky, I think of all these dramatic scenes in boxing where the boxer is lifting off the ground, you know, like in a show you get from Street Fighter. Um, but in reality, a boxer's feet, both feet, rarely leave the ground. So you'll see this one, uh, we have one hand that's up in defense just in case the other character, you know, the other opponent does a left hook. Uh, and then you see the right fist coming out in a right jab. So again, there's one leg forward, one leg back to balance out the weight. And then the head is like a three quarter view pose there. All right, this next pose will be a defensive block where both fists will be um, covering the face and the elbows will be blocking you know, from any hook. Um, however, the chest is left open in this pose. So you'll see there's going to be a space for someone to punch straight in the chest. Although it's not really a great spot to punch with boxing gloves. Here's a random boxing fact. John L. Sullivan, a legendary manly man and bare knuckle fighter, once fought in a bare knuckle match that lasted 75 rounds. He ultimately died of a heart attack years later, and they say the ground was so cold that they had to use dynamite to blast out his gravesite. All right, so the next pose is going to be a right jab, and you can see the gesture line. Uh, this one is leaning a bit forward. And then I have one gloved uh, fist blocking uh, on defense. So with every punch, you know, you always have to use the other hand to potentially block in case the, the opponent moves to the side um, or uh, reverses and, and you know parries and, and, and uh, turns the tables on you. So we have him stepping forward as he jabs, stepping over to the left as he jabs at the right. And again, it doesn't look very dynamic. You could always push this and maybe looking back, I probably would have done a more dynamic gesture line. So he's leaning even more forward. But with boxing, you want to keep a balance. If you throw too much weight behind a punch, you better be sure that punch is going to land. Because if it doesn't land, if you miss, then you've already exposed you know, too much of yourself. You've lunged forward and it's hard to um, recover from you know, your weight being off balance. All right, this next one is more dynamic. Um, you can see that I do a uh, twisting gesture line, which represents the torso and the back leg. In the front leg, both legs are gonna be bent on this one to accommodate this dramatic twisting of the torso. And then we have an uppercut. So there's a very dramatic position here, relatively dramatic, and the character is looking up now you notice all of these characters don't have muscles. I'm not focusing on muscle structure, although maybe in a future 
uh, tutorial video, I can do that. I'm just putting head, torso, limbs, and where the gloves or fists would be. You could always bulk up this character, you know, if you were to draw any of these poses and add your own detail to it. This next one is kind of a, from the, if you were boxing against this character, it's a front view block. So you'll see that it's almost like this character is blocking from a right hook. So you have one hand and arm up and um, the other one is a little bit lower. So they're reacting to some, maybe some potential um, blow that's coming from the right side, our, our right side. Here's another boxing fact. George Foreman has made more money selling grills than his entire boxing career. And he was a two-time heavyweight world champion. So more money making the George, selling the George Foreman grill. It's pretty interesting. All right, so this next pose is going to be um, a, like a less dramatic uppercut. This could be an uppercut that is being blocked. So maybe the boxer tried to do a follow through, but was uh, you know, blocked by the opponent. And so we have one gloved fist up on defense, blocking the, you know, for any other counter uh, punch. And then we have the punching hand, just kind of like mid strike. So kind of leaning forward, both legs bent. This next one is another blocking pose. So we have um, character leaning back as the other, the opponent is you know, swinging or making contact. So we have one gloved fist up and the other one even higher. All right, so I'm just solidifying the gloves here. We have that arm up and then where his eyes would be. legs next and while I'm drawing the legs how about another boxing fact here's a really interesting one Thai prisoners are released early if they take part in kickboxing matches against foreigners so that's really so they get out early from prison if they engage in a kickboxing match against uh, some other visiting kickboxer I assume from another country interesting all right the next one is going to be a right hook. So the right hook, I, I kind of drew these characters as if they're boxing each other, so this time uh, they're facing off. So we have one fist up, defense, or wound up for another you know, follow-up punch, and then we have a foreshortened uh, forearm. There's the glove and the forearm, and then the upper arm is there in the background. So it's kind of swinging across. Maybe he didn't quite connect, or he's doing, maybe he's kind of faking a punch. So we can come in with his left. All right, this next one is an uppercut, um, but again, it doesn't look, you'll see it's not as dramatic as you may have hoped. So don't worry, at the end of this video, I'll have a really cartoony, dramatic uppercut where he's jumping off the ground to strike his opponent. So this one, you can see uh, gloved hand up, and then the other hand is lowered. So that's not very smart because he's not defending his left side. And while I draw the leg, here is another interesting fact. Boxing gloves are more dangerous and result in more deaths than bare knuckle boxing. And I think that's because if you're boxing with your bare knuckles, you're probably going to bust up your knuckles and not hit as hard later in the match. Whereas boxing gloves protect your, your fist the whole time. All right, so here we have an opponent that's being launched in the air. So you can see the lips are up. Uh, their their legs are kind of askew. Their arms. I'm going to draw fingers right now just to show how like out of it they are. Just completely knocked back into the air. I could have probably drawn some spit or blood shooting out of their mouth or teeth or something to add to the drama. I'm just cleaning up some lines so we can see what leg is in front. And then here's our here's our guy who's leaping into the air. While we draw him, I have one more fact for you. Hall of Fame boxer Sugar Ray Robinson backed out of a fight because he had a dream he was going to kill his opponent. So a priest and a minister convinced him to go through with the fight where he killed his opponent in the ring. And his opponent's name was Jimmy Doyle. It's pretty crazy. All right, so you can see the leg and uh, both legs are, you know, these leaping up. And I would probably draw 
a shadow. I forgot to do it, but I'll, I, a shadow would be under him if he is jumping off of the ring. Or maybe, maybe his feet are on the ground, it can still work. All right, one more bonus drawing. And this is what happens when a block doesn't work. So we have um, this guy with his fist up for shortened forearm, so it's turning away from us. And then I'm gonna draw a line through, like past the head, and this is where the fist left jab is making contact with the opponent's face. So there's the opponent's face right there. And then you can see the glove with the thumb curled underneath, making contact. And then you're gonna have this guy with his gloves up who attempted to block it, but the fist went straight through. So there's one glove and then the other glove in the background. You can see the elbow there. And then just a little smack line there, just for drama with maybe some, uh, some oh, I gotta clean this up here. Oh, yeah, get rid of that through line. Solidify the drawing a little bit. And then uh, just draw some like black stars just coming off this face there. So I'm going to now take these drawings once I finish touching this one up and I'm going to show you how I got the cover image. All right, so we have the drawings here. I'm gonna go ahead now and show you how I got to those people. Um, I simply took a picture of them and put them into Procreate and then just added muscle structure. You know, I looked up some references for boxer shoes and socks and shorts. I uh, made this guy a little bit chubby and then this was tricky for the hips because I couldn't figure out if the belly button was kind of centered, I had to figure out what part of the leg to show. And then finally we'll turn this one into a female boxer. So we have um, shorts, or like sports bra, and then um, and now we've got the colors, just filling colors in our Procreate. Just making some arbitrary colors. I like the, the uh, lightning bolts on that guy's shoes. And that's it. So um, I hope you guys enjoyed this demonstration of a boxing drawing. Stay tuned for more.